Hey there friends, Jonathan here, and today I want to very quickly show you step-by-step -step how to set up your Lightner wireless headset with your Yealink electronic hook switch, giving you the ability to answer and hang up your calls directly from your headset. All right friends, let's cover exactly what we'll need for this setup. Obviously you're gonna need your Yealink phone to hook up to, you're gonna need your Lightner headset, mine is plugged into power, you can see by the blue focus light, and then you're gonna need your Yealink EHS itself, which comes with several different pieces, but don't worry, we'll cover exactly the parts that you need, nothing more. Okay, inside your Yealink hook switch box, we're gonna find three different pieces. We've got a flat RJ45 cable. We've got the Yealink EHS 36 box itself. And you're gonna have an RJ12 little rounded cord here. Anything else you see in the box, you can just forget about it. On the Lightner end of things, we need to grab the telephone connector cord that came with your Lightner. It should have a little green tape on it. Now, I've already got my headset connected to power, so I'm going to remove the headset itself, set it to the side, and then we're going to disconnect power from the back of the base. Whoop, there it goes. Bye. Now, on the left side of the bottom of the charging base, there's a little switch. We want to make sure that switch is set to DHSG, which is the top of the two options. Next, there's a slider at the top here. We want that set to one. Let's grab the Yealink EHS 36 box itself next, get it where we can get a hold of it, and then grab the flat RJ45 cord. We're going to plug one end of that cord into the silver AUX port in the back of the Lightner charging base. Should be the largest port you have here. Next, let's grab the telephone connector cord mentioned previously, one with a little green tape on it, and we're going to plug that into the port immediately to the right of the silver AUX port we just plugged into. You should see a little green telephone icon underneath this port. Go ahead and plug that in. Bam, nice and snug. And now let's take the other end of the flat cord again, and we're going to plug that into the left side of the Yealink EHS 36 box. Bam. Now, let's move over to the phone. Looking at your Yealink phone, you'll notice that I've removed the handheld receiver. I find this to be a lot easier and cleaner when I'm trying to get to the ports in the back, but it is an optional step. Either way, whether you remove that or not, let's go ahead and flip your phone around to the back, and we're gonna take a look at some ports and connect our final cords here. Once you flipped around to the back, we're going to grab your RJ12, the round cord that remained from the EHS 36, and we're gonna look for an EXT or EHS port on the back of your phone. You can see mine is EXT. We're gonna plug in that RJ12 right there, take the other end of it, and then we're gonna plug that into the right-hand side, the remaining port on the Yealink EHS box itself. Now, we need to take the other end of our connector cord coming from the Lightner base, and we're gonna plug that in to the headset port on the back of your phone. Once you've found that port, go ahead and plug the connector cord in. Once you plug that cord in, all you need to remember to do is go back and plug the power back into your Lightner base and set the headset back on that base, and then you're done. Congrats. There you have it, friends. You should now be able to answer and hang up your calls directly from your Lightner. And of course, if you have any other questions or you need any other help at all, Always feel free to give us a call at 1-800-HEADSETS, where any one of our headset advisors would be more than happy to help you. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Cheers.